In 1974, the American Chester Kyle created the HPV Association, Human Propulsion Vehicles. Contrary to the International Cycling Union, which strictly regulates the shape of competition cycles, the HPV's events on land or water or even underwater are only subject to a single obligation. The motor must be human. For the rest, anything goes. The competitors use an ingenious mixture of athletics and technology to make the vehicles that will best transmit their muscular strength. In Europe, some students have organized the second European Championships at Lillestad in Holland, and they're off for a seven-kilometer race on one of Holland's largest polar canals. Straight away, this canoe with balancing poles by the Swedish University of Notenborg takes the lead and reveals its secret. It's a hydrofoil, in other words, a boat with a propeller fitted out with skates, which raises the vessel out of the water when it reaches a certain speed. Friction with the water is therefore much less than with a traditional vessel. There's another hydrofoil just behind it. In third place, the propeller boats, which have in theory the best performance, are being overtaken by an outsider, Hydrodynamosaurus, a canoe driven by a paddle wheel. A good performance from this original boat from a country that's not really a seafaring country, Austria. This French athlete's a long way behind. It must be said that his peddler car is meant for more leisurely outings. It's already covered hundreds of kilometers of French, Belgian, and Dutch rivers to get to the competition. The Beluga, by a Dutch engineer, isn't the fastest, but it's by far the simplest and most elegant boat. It has no mechanisms. To go forward, you just have to push down with your legs and then release. The trig, or rather the fin, is underwater. The boats using this technique, however, require a lot of muscular effort. They only have a two-kilometer course to cover. At the finish line, there are no surprises, for it's the Swedish boat that wins, having covered the seven kilometers in less than 50 minutes. Right behind it, there's a tight struggle between Hydrodynamosaurus and a vessel with four pedals, which wins in the end. In 11th place is Tyson Rieg, a 76-year-old Englishman whose propelled catamaran has overtaken a young Italian's pedal-wheeled vessel. There really are thousands of ways of exploiting human strength. And we hope you've enjoyed what we've been peddling, wild and weird, amazing videos. Nighty night. -night.